Hey everyone, welcome to our May Marketing Bootcamp. So happy to be here with you as always. And I'm still here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida and flying home this evening to Seattle. So if we haven't connected yet, my name is Amy Yamada and I'm here to help you to deeply connect with yourself, your vision and your ideal clients so that you can create the impact and the income that you've always wanted. So, so far in this marketing bootcamp, we've been talking about my create connect to offer system. So it's all about creating your marketing messaging, creating your signature offering or signature package. And then we got into connection. How do you connect with your ideal clients and having all these wonderful strategies and picking the top two or three that you feel totally resonate with you to deeply connect with your ideal clients. And then this week, I know you're excited. It's all about the offer. So sometimes people are like, oh, they hear the word offer or sales and they're freaking out like, how am I gonna do this? Or, or even when they're on their enrollment conversation or their sales conversation, they may, they may do okay in starting the conversation, but when it comes down to actually transitioning to the offer, they go sideways. And so I've far too often heard entrepreneurs say to me like, okay, Amy, I get to the point where I attract the clients, I do all these things to connect with them, and then I start a conversation and we're totally hitting it off, and then when I go to make the offer, everything goes sideways and they don't step in. And here I've done all this work to get to this crucial point, and then I miss out on the opportunity to work with them. So sometimes I'll hear things like, um, well, maybe I'm just not getting in front of the right people, or everyone that comes to me has no money, or you know, there's all sorts of things, or every time I talk to somebody, they say I need to think about it, or I need to talk to somebody. So here's the thing, is that if you're a coach or someone that is helping pe someone, you know, your ideal client to transform, then all sorts of things can come up for people in that conversation when you're making the offer. I mean, think about times when you've had someone present an opportunity to you, and you're like, I don't know if I should do this, or I don't know if I can afford it, or maybe I need to think about it or sleep on it, or I need to talk to my spouse or my, you know, my financial advisor. Like everyone has these things that come up and, and show up in different forms. So, so this next module, this next step, and this, these next handful of days are all about making the offer. And this is something that I actually particularly love because there's a transformational opportunity right there in the time that you're making the offer. So, um, so as I was thinking about this, I actually went back, okay? So some of you know that I worked in the media for like 15 years before I launched my business. And I remember being in the radio world. So for those first nine years, I worked for a cluster of radio stations and they would send me to these trainings, right? So I, I initially did promotions and marketing for a few years and then I transitioned into advertising sales. And I remember I went going to this conference, this training conference that was all around sales. And so I thought, oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna learn some more about how I can really show up for my clients and make the offer. And the speaker there, this was years ago, I don't even remember his name. So this is, this is something that even, I'm just having a moment here. I'm like, wow, I, I can't even remember his name. And I probably decided not to retain that information because what he taught so was not with integrity with me that I just like, that's, that's not gonna work for me. So essentially what happened was, here I am sitting in this conference of hundreds of people, again, this is many years ago, and they had people in different industries, right? So I happened to be in the radio industry, and he was talking about sending out letters to your ideal clients and having the letter, like not even say where you were writing from, so the company that you represented, um, not being clear about what it was you were even offering, and more focusing on, you know, it had some elements of like benefits, so at least there was something good, like this, this is, don't you want to X, Y, Z in order to do this, you know? And so it had been, it was very benefit driven. However, there was a shadiness to it, where it's like, I'm not saying like what I do, what I offer at the time, who I represent. And I just felt like, I don't care if this guy's made millions and millions of dollars, it was not with an integrity to how I am going to show up for my clients. So I remember in that moment, I thought, you know what? I know I work for a company that has sent me to this training and other trainings, some were good, some were not good. And at the same time, at the end of the day, I get to, I get to own up to what I've shown up for that day. And at that moment, I was like, I don't care how they're training me. I, if I can't sleep at night because I'm doing something shady, it's just, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> so. I'm really thankful that I, I went into the sale, the world of sales at a time when, from my perspective, they went from like the old school, shady, salesy, manipulative, bait and switch way of selling, and it shifted over to the consultant approach. 
So I'm glad that I was at like the tail end so I was able to see like how people were before and how some people still are now. I mean, I don't know about you, but um, I do remember a point in time when I was shopping for a new car and I literally did not buy from a specific place because they were using these old school tactics that were so shady. It was like, you know, you just missed out on my being your client because of the way in which you made the offer. So I bring all of this up because I know the people I attract are people who are so purpose driven and not salesy, salesy in like this negative sense and are really more here to make a difference first. And also I know that you would like to, you know, know that when somebody invests in you, you're de de um, providing the value and deliverables where it's like, okay, I'm really going to, they're investing in me just as I am investing in them. Okay. So all that being said, for my, uh, and, and I know a lot of different coaches teach their own sales enrollment conversations. Mine is all about making a difference. It's beyond you. So I really like to think about it as a beyond you conversation, a make a difference conversation. It's beyond business. And so now I've actually incorporated the, the letters to be beyond, beyond you. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what happens when you just eat. <laughs> hmm. Don't you love live when you have like something in your throat and that happens? Okay, so all that being said, the letters of beyond you, like, like beyond and the letter you break down my system. And for the time that we have, I just am so committed to helping you to get started. So first of all, with letter B, it's all about finding out what is their big dream? You know, what is their big dream? So sometimes on these calls, I will, um, like if I'm in an enrollment conversation with someone, that I may or may not make an offer at the end of the conversation, the first thing I want to find out is what is their big vision? What is their big dream? What do they really want? And this is congruent to a lot of other sales enrollment conversations that maybe you've learned before. I like to go first big, like if they could wave a magic wand and have what they want to have in their life, and this can be relevant whatever part of, in whatever industry you're in, like what is their big vision? And so, if they're like, oh gosh, like if that's a really big question for them or they're like, their mind starts to go in lots of different directions, right? There's different personality types. So if, if they're an analyzer type, they're like, whoa, this is way too big of a question. So I may say, okay, if you were to create a vision board with your big dreams on it, what would be the absolute things that would be on this vision board? And so sometimes they'll ask a clarifying question like, oh, do you mean in my business or do you mean my health or do you mean in my relationship? Like, what, whatever comes to you first, or if it helps you, because I am you know, in the world of entrepreneurship, then I may say, okay, so in the part of your vision board that's all about your entrepreneurial journey, what would that part of your vision board look like? You know, just to give them some clarifying questions. And if they don't know, like sometimes people have like, sometimes people have I know syndrome, and sometimes people have I don't know syndrome, right? Where it's like, like I just don't know, I just don't know when I believe deep down inside they do know, they just haven't been asked this question or allowed themselves to dream again. So if you have someone where you're saying, so what's your big dream or what's your dream case scenario for your life, like sometimes I'll say for your life and your business, then if they're like, oh gosh, I, you know that I just, I don't know, then you can say, very Oprah-esque, what do you know for sure that you want? Like, what do you know without a doubt that you want? And they're still like, oh, I, I just, I don't really know. Usually I'll get people who at least can answer that question. I'm not here to judge them if they don't have an answer. So in that case, if they're still like, oh, I'm not sure, I'll say, okay, let me ask you it in a little bit of a different way. What would your dream day look like? Like a normal day from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, like what are some of the, the elements that I would see in your day? So sometimes people will be able to look at it from a, instead of a macro vision, a micro vision of, okay, we all can relate to what today looks like. And they may or may not have elements of their dream day and how they're living it right now. Oftentimes I find there's something that's a disc, there's a gap, right? There's a gap between what their dream day looks like now and what they want it to look like. So that's a really great way to find out what is their vision. And even if they only give you what their dream day looks like, it'll give you an insight to who they are, what they're about, what they want, you know, what's happening there, and really finding out like what's, you know, what's missing for them, what's in the gap, okay? The other thing about starting off these conversations, and this is something that I don't hear other people teaching that I find so essential, so I hope you're taking this all in without distractions, is what is the energy that you're bringing to the conversation? 
So if you're flustered and you have so much going on and you're so busy in your head or in your life and you come to the call like, okay, hey, oh, hi, this is, you know, hi, this is Amy Yamada. How, you know, thank you for jumping on a call with me. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, my day's so crazy, but I'm so glad. We're, like if that's the energy, I always think of the Tasmanian devil where he's just like, shh, you know, kind of crazy town. If that's the energy that you're bringing, then there's going to be a reflection going back and forth that, you know, like if they're calm and you're hyper, it's going to be kind of a crazy conversation. If they're hyper and you're calm, then you can lead from that center of calmness and being present where they can, they can come from here in this busyness to where you are and just really meet in this like really sacred space. So I find that the reason why people open up to me so quickly, I believe it's because my energy, my tone of voice, how I show up on the call, is very open and ready to not only contribute but ready to receive them like really hear them and even though i've talked to so many people over the years in that moment it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation so i get to be super present with that person and the, the way i remember somebody asked me this i was at a, a mastermind event a couple of years ago and uh, someone in the group had heard me talk on some webinar or something about this and so we had this really deep conversation about this and, and I said, you know, the way, because she was saying, how do, pe how do you get people to open up to you so quickly? And I said, well, I think that what, what I bring to the table is I think about how this, in this time that I have with them, so whether it's a shorter conversation, like 20 to 30 minutes, mine tend to go a little longer, you know, so I, I might carve out maybe, you know, 30 to 45 minutes for the actual call and then an additional 15 minutes for a buffer, so in between calls, or I may actually use up that entire time. Some people will do them super fast. I'm not that person. I like to take my time. Um, so here's the way I look at it, okay? I look at it from like a really deep place. So here we are in this human being experience. Some of you have heard me talk about this from a stage, you know? And there's 7.4 billion people on this planet. And most of us will only meet about 10,000 of them in our lifetime. So that's point, I did the math once, point zero 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 one percent like a tiny, tiny fraction of 1% of the entire world's population. So if you're one of my 10,000 and we have the opportunity to connect, even if you live on the other side of the world and we connect for this one precious conversation and it may be only 45 minutes or an hour, maybe only 30 minutes, of our entire lives that somehow everything that we did in our lives, every decision we made, every experience we had, everything we've gone through have led to this precious moment where it's just you and me. That's it. It's you and me having this deep conversation about your big dream. And if there's anything I can do to help you, to make a difference for you, to go further, whether it's with me or not, I just, I get chills every time I think about that. Like you're one of my 10,000. How precious is that? And in that moment, in that time that we have together, it's this little sliver of time that in that hour, I'm spending my life with you, right? And some people might, oh, that's kind of extreme. Like, yeah, but, but just think about it for a moment. In that hour, we have both made the conscious decision to spend our lives together. So the way I look at it is in that hour, if I could be so present for you, you are the most important person in my life in that hour, right? Like. It's like a really beautiful way to think about it. Like in the hour, I'm committed to helping you, to supporting you, to being a loving source for you, to lift you up, to think about your dreams and to see what can I do in this time to dedicate myself to you and say, I'm here for you, I'm listening, I'm here to ask you what your big dreams are without judgment, without thinking small of you. I'm here to say, hey, like sometimes people say, I was on a call just last week with this woman who she's just got the most beautiful soul and she travels and she's already started a blog and she wants to teach other single women how to travel and like really live a very adventurous life. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what a great message do you have for the world? And she said to me, okay, I have this crazy idea. And she told me where she, she wants to move to another country and I won't get into the whole thing, but she said, I have this crazy idea. You might think I'm crazy. And she said, I wanna move by the end of this year to this other country. And I was like, I don't think you're crazy. I think you're clear with what your big dream is and I'm here to celebrate that and to say, why not you? Why not you? So when you can be in their corner, on their side, on their team, first of all, you're breathing possibility in life and co-creating energetically with them. 
and you're also there to stand for their vision. So do you see how this kind of energy is so like, to me it's a beautiful energy to bring to the table instead of thinking, oh, I have to get on a sales call or oh my gosh, I'm gonna get on a sales conversation, I'm so scared of making the offer. First of all, I, and my, my opinion is you don't know if you're going to make an offer because until you actually have that opportunity to connect with the person, then they may or may not ultimately be the right fit for you and what you offer. So my, my, my request and my recommendation of you as someone who's here to make a difference is to truly not be attached to the sale and not even be attached to making an offer. I do not make an offer on every call. So one time I was on a call with somebody who I did make an offer to and I told her, I said, you know, I don't make an offer to any, just anyone. I make an offer when, within my heart of hearts, I truly believe that what I'm offering will help you get to your vision. So it's not even about me and my offering, my coaching package, my mastermind, my VIP program, or Powerhouse California, right? It's, it's about them and their vision, and do I believe in my heart of hearts that what I'm offering them can help them get from here to here? Does that make sense? So this is why I wanted to talk about really getting to their big dream. What is their dream? What do they really want? What is something they've maybe even been afraid to share with others because of judgment or fear of judgment or fear of if I say it out loud and then I don't do it, then I will just be here to disappoint myself. Well, if you don't decide and commit and take action, it's never going to happen. And I believe that when you have a big dream, like we don't, we're not promised tomorrow. Like we're here for this limited amount of time, right? Whether we're here for you know, 50 years or 100 years, hopefully, right? Like we're here for this little amount of time. So why not live your big dream while you're here and live it every single day and figure out what it is. And first of all, be courageous enough, like just have the courage to decide, like what is it that I truly want and not be afraid to declare it and commit to it and go after it and just decide that I'm gonna be the ones who actually makes it happen, even if the obstacles, when the obstacles come up. You know, so for me, the, the first time I talked to a coach, I remember her, her asking me the question of what, what would success look like for you? That's another great question to ask people. What would success look like for you? And for me, it was like at that time, it was to be able to travel and work from anywhere, anytime I wanted, you know, and I've done, I, I've done that, you know, I'm in Florida right now and I was in Hawaii last, last month and I was in Florida again in February like you know so I, so when I look back now from that conversation to where I am now I am living that dream now my dream has expanded you know so now I'm, I'm focused on really creating this amazing powerhouse community of entrepreneurs who are here to first and foremost make a difference and then uh, in addition to that to create true freedom like what does freedom look like for you you know and so I just I, I just feel it in my heart, you know, I get so excited about it because it's creating opportunities for people that initially at some point in their journey listened to the people that told them that they couldn't do something and, and had that become their limiting belief about themselves. And I call BS on that, you know, like I'm just like, no matter what's happened in your life or no matter who told you you couldn't do something or maybe you've been the one saying to yourself, I don't think I can do that, but usually it came from something Then I say, why not go after it anyway? You know, and this is how you can also empower the people you're talking to on your beyond you conversations when you're making a difference for them and you say, hey, this is beyond you and me. This is the bigger vision. And your vision is bigger than your fear. Don't listen to the people who tell you that you can't do something and certainly don't listen to the inner critic that says, who am I to think I can do this? It's just a limiting belief that's trying to keep you safe and small and say, you know what? If I have a vision of buying a house on the ocean in Hawaii, maybe that's my second home, or, or if I have a vision of having, having a business where I build this amazing community, this tribe of people that I really resonate with, and it gives me the chance to, to really help out in third world countries and have like a, um, you know, a, a percentage of my business that, that goes towards that every single year. Or if you wanna be like me, where you speak on stages and you create your own events that brings people together, for this, this unforgettable experience, you know, even being here at uh, Lisa Sasevich's event. You know, I, I, I met her recently and she invited me to her event and just being in that energy, you know, it's just like, to me, it's just, it's my happy place, you know, to be around really powerful entrepreneurs. So, so think about it from your standpoint and how do you make a difference for people? And when you get into an enrollment conversation with someone that's beyond you, that's beyond business, like, find out what their big dream is 
and bring that energy to the table from the moment you get, even before you get on the phone with them or Zoom or Skype or in person, take a moment to yourself, get grounded, get centered, come from the heart space and just say, you know what? I get to connect with one of my 10,000. I get to hold them high. I get to really listen to them and find out what is your big dream? What do you truly want? And, and bring that energy and that tone of voice. So that's the other piece I wanted to share with you today is tone of voice. Um, what I noticed about what my experience has been with a lot of entrepreneurs is that when I meet them in person, they're themselves, they're relaxed, their energy is like authentic to them. And as soon as they stiffen up and get on a call, like, you know, their voice shifts. They don't sound like themselves anymore. So remember, you're only a stranger until you say hello. And once, you're, you're, once you've said hello, you've connected. So I always like to come to a call already with that energy of, in just a moment, we will no longer be strangers. In fact, I already don't feel like a stranger if we're the ones who scheduled the calls. So that means there's been some interaction. So instead of saying, hi, this is Amy Yamada. And like, oh, you know, like maybe back in the day, corporate wise, you know, I, I felt I needed to show up a certain way. Now I am free to be myself. So I'll come to the call and say, hey, you know, like as if we're already friends, as if we're already connected, as if we're already part of a community. So I'd say, hey, hey, Yvette, it's Amy Yamada, how are you? Like, I like to bring it, you know, just like start off with that loving energy and just say like, I'm so excited to chat with you and I wanna find out about you. And so why don't you, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself and what's your, I wanna know, what's your big dream? What's your big vision? I'm, I'm excited to hear what it is. And then eliminate distractions and be so present for you, okay? So, would love to know, um, yeah, <laughs> I see Holly, we're not gonna get to the E just yet, we're gonna go into the rest of the conversation and other elements that are the most essential elements of the Beyond You conversation. Um, I go into the full training at Powerhouse California because I really wanna make sure that we dive deep and make sure that you understand every single element. So if that's you, we do have just a few more spots left for Powerhouse California and, um, and we're really gonna be taking it to the next level. So if you haven't connected with my team or myself yet, or notice what comes up for you, like, oh, I don't know if I can do it, or I don't know if, if the timing is right, I don't know if I'm ready, sometimes these things can come up for you. And it's like, okay, do you have a bigger dream for yourself? If so, what is it? And if I've already made a difference for you in the marketing boot camp, then this is your chance to say, what am I, what am I willing to do to take it a step further? You know, is, this, is one of these last few spots mine? You know, and, and my team and I will tell you, like I said, we don't make, make a recommendation unless we truly believe that Powerhouse California is that next step from here to where you want to go. And I tell you what, the people who are coming so far are just exceptional people. So beyond me, you're going to be able to connect with these other powerhouse entrepreneurs. And whenever I connect with more people, I mean, there was something I mentioned the other day that Lisa kept saying during our, our conference is participation equals value. So when you per fully participate and you show up in an event like this in an intimate setting with just a small group of other entrepreneurs, then it's bound to have to provide growth even more than what you're learning, which is the, you know, the core of it all. So, okay. At this opportunity, I would love to take any questions and just know throughout the next few days, we're going to be going deeper into this about making the offer. So I know some of you are already like, what about when they say I can't afford it? Or, you know, the objections, like, don't worry, I've got your back. We're going to get into that. So keep, Keep showing up for this and I'll help you. So what questions may I answer for you? What questions can I answer? I'll give a few shout outs here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so many great people here. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Lahia. Hey, Vets. Hi, Margaret. Welcome. Hey, Holly. <laughs> hey, Cambria. So great to see you here. Okay. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Aloha, Tracy. Hey, Judy. I see Olga's on here, who's actually rooming with me, so she, <laughs> she must be watching somewhere in this room. Hey, Cece. I know she's like, is it okay if I take a shower? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> hey, Michelle. I just like, don't point it this way. We're like, we want to make sure we don't have any, you know, wardrobe malfunctions and whatnot. Um, hey, everyone. Okay. Okay. Andrea says, I just finished a call where I did not make an offer. Thank you for sharing this. Yeah, so like I said, it's not about every conversation making an offer, right? Like as you talk to someone, you may realize that what you are offering is not actually in, in alignment with the person that you're talking to. So that's okay, you know? But if it is, here's the key, the, the alternative side of that is if you in your heart of hearts believe that you can help someone get from here to here, then 
my recommendation is make the offer. Even if you're nervous, we're gonna go into how to make the offer in, in you know, this week's training. Okay, Yvette, I want to go to Brazil. No, I'm going to Brazil. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hey, Margo. Hey, Sherelle, welcome. Okay, Holly, how do I know I've gone deep enough on what their dream is? Hmm, so I, I know that I've gone deep enough on what their dream is when they share with me something that's personal to them. So usually when I first ask this question, the people I attract focus out, right? They're very giving, generous people. They're like, oh yeah, I just, my dream is to have this program and to help more people and to, you know, help them to, you know, really, you know, make a difference for them in their business or in their relationships or help them heal from their past wounds or, you know, like there's all sorts of things they want to focus out. I'm like, that's awesome. I know that first and foremost, you are here to make a difference. That's part of your big dream. What's in it for you, you know? And sometimes it takes me a little while to get there. Uh, but what I'll find is that oftentimes uh, they'll say something like, well, Either they've always had a dream vacation, like maybe a dream trip they've wanted to go on, whether it's a vacation or a special trip, or maybe they've wanted to take their family on a special trip, or maybe um, they want more energy and time and they want to create more balance in their life. They're like, yeah, I just want to have more time for my kids or more energy for, you know, still sometimes it's for others, but it's something that's really personal to their heart. Um, or they're like me, where initially it's like, you know what, I have more freedom. I want to be able to travel and work from anywhere. Like that was, that was definitely a... A, a big and deep like it's just from a deep why perspective um, so you can also find like what's your what's your deep and emotionally inspired why <laughs> you know so I'll, you can think of other ways to ask the question to get to that point so oftentimes if it has to do with travel or some big purchase maybe they have a dream home they want to buy or maybe they want to have more energy more time for something that's when I know I've gone deep enough because then not only are, are you helping them achieve like, like the core elements of what you teach or what you provide, but it's getting them to their dream, their why, okay? So that's what helps me find out what that is. Okay, let's see here. EC Brown, hi EC Brown. What if your product isn't ready? I'm building a travel service with all my ducks in a row. Is it too early to start? Uh, no, actually it's so funny because when early on, I also thought I had to have everything already created. So. If you're creating an online pre-produced course, then yes, that's when you have everything pre-produced because then you have an online evergreen product that you sell, okay? Um, at the same time, if you're committed to completing that project, you can still start selling it before it's done, but make sure your communication is on point where you tell them, now the course begins or the, co the course will be released on this date and make sure that you're giving yourself ample time to complete everything so that you're you're following through with your promise. Um, if it's a service, same thing. So um, if, if you're providing a service, so if it's a live coaching program or a travel, okay, so if a travel service, I'm not sure specifically what you're offering. So if it's like uh, travel services in terms of like a travel agency or pr producing travel trips, I, <laughs> I'm losing my words here. Um, so if, if you're thinking about that, then you can say this is when the actual product will be available. But if people want to have like um, an introductory offer, you say if you invest in it now, then you'll get you know a special bonus and then we'll get it to you at this point. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, hey Valerie. Okay, Valerie says, this is great info, Amy. Thank you for providing some qualifying questions to ask that get you closer to their big why. I've been having lots of calls lately and I've noticed that in a few of my calls, it's taken me 45 minutes to get the juice, what they really desire. I think it's sometimes because they're afraid to share the big dream, but some of the questions you've provided, like what's on your, what is on your vision board may get them to open up even faster. Yeah, so you know what's great about you, Valerie, is that you're already practicing and seeing like, where are you getting stuck? So the worst thing, anything that any of you can do is to do nothing. So as you start having conversations with people, that's your practice, right? So you can really practice this out. So, um, so yeah, Valerie, and, and I know sometimes when people jump on a call, maybe initially they're either like nervous, like sometimes they'll say, I'm a little nervous to talk to you, or I'm kind of intimidated. That's always weird for me to hear, you know, or something along those lines. I'll, I'll just say, you know what, just, I'll say with my tone of voice, my energy, my being the source of like love and compassion, I'll say, just know that you're in a safe place and I'm, I'm on your team. So if you've always had something you've wanted to do, if you've always had a dream that's like deep down inside of you, I would personally love to hear it because unless you share with me what that is, 
I can't really help you, you know, and I, I would love for you to just like set aside any limitations or not knowing how. And if you're willing to go there, I would love to hear what it is. Okay, so just as you practice and play around this, you'll find what way of asking it works for you and how you get the best answer. Okay, hey Jess. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. It's been so much fun. And uh, of course, we'll be back on tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific. I'll be back on the West Coast, so hopefully I won't be too jet lagged. <laughs> but I'm super excited to chat with you. And if this has been helpful, uh, I ask that right now you go ahead and click on that share button so that together we can make a bigger difference. And when you click on the share button, go ahead and put a personal note so that people actually watch the video. You know, sometimes when people just share things, nobody watches it because they're like, oh, what is this? I don't need this. But if you actually personally say, right, it's all about connection, wow, this is all about, you know, helping you to make an offer and ultimately really defining what is someone's big dream. And sometimes it even gets your own mind working, like, what is my big dream? You know, I always come back to my own vision. That's why when we first started this marketing boot camp, we talked about your vision, if you remember that, for those of you who have done it from the very beginning. So on that note, have a wonderful day. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. And uh, I invite you to even start having conversations with even friends and, and people that you already know, even simply to talk about their big dreams. Like, what's, what's your big dream? Or what's something you've always thought about doing? Because even that can get into the practice of simply starting the conversation. Okay? Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.